Morning all. Uh, it's an exciting day today. The uh, yes. the cladding is going to be going in, or for the roof at least, anyway. So Louise you're... is going to do most of this. I'm not doing it. Louise is going to do most of this, <laughs> as per usual. Um, Emily's very excited to have it done, though, aren't you? Yes, I am, because then you can start seeing what the van's going to look like. Yeah. Not a spaceship anymore. Uh, so we're going with, well, I'll show you when we get into it what cladding we're using. Um, but yeah, very exciting times. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let's Yay. go and. Uh, Let's go and get it painted. Oh, this is just such a crap job. Bad board now. Boring. Right, apparently this is Louise's um, varnishing dance. No, it's not a dance, it's a, it's a skill, that is. <laughs> Such a dip. I can't do it back the other way though. Go on then. No, I have to go right to left. That's not a very good varnishing like move then, is it? Right. <laughs> So normally I'd start from the middle and work my way either side, but because basically we're going to have overhead storage all along this wall uh, and that side is going to be the side that shows, so I want to get a straight run there so it looks right and then this is all going to be hidden by cupboards anyway, so as long as it runs straight with these skylights so it looks right, it should be alright. So that's why I'm going to start that way and work my way across, which for me is backwards, but yeah, we'll give it a go. Um, we're using... This is like really crap. It's eight mil cladding from uh, B and Q. I don't know where you ordered it from. Yeah, from B and Q, I think, which we've then uh, oiled up with uh, Osmo wood finish in walnut. Um, the reason we're going, it's going to be horrible. It's going to split. It's all going to need pre-drilling. Half the packs are broken, but it is light as a feather, so that's why we're going for it. Because obviously, if we go for slightly higher quality, thicker stuff, it's just going to add more and more weight. Oh, so, you that one. so yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> it's so helpful in the video process. And I'll be like, I'll be in my flow, <laughs> and you come up with crap. Uh, there's a bit that I can see the ones at the bottom, and uh, she's missed a bit. She's nagging again. Right, come on, let's go. Right, that was it, that was the extent of Emily's help, so it's really a two-man job, but I'm just going to crack on, see how it goes. Right, my camera's gonna die, but basically, you get the point.
I've got some battery back. So we are about, I don't know, maybe two thirds of the way. Uh, I've done Randall, I've done all the hard bits really, so it's just finish it now. So let me, let me see if I can show you where we're at. Okay. So that's about it really. Um, to put it up with, I'm using, I don't know if you can see, I was going to go with hidden screws or um, like little cladding clips, but I made something for in the house and I used, I only had these laying around, I used it to hold it together, so we're going to have a bit of an industrial theme going on on the inside, so I'm using these to put it up, I quite like them, so they're just, um, they're for, I think they're for roofing maybe, they're for screwing uh, wood, well steel to, steel plates to, to wood, but yeah, they're just about long enough, well they're just about not too long if that makes sense, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with those. So, little hex head pieces. So I'm going to crack on. Go, I've only got that little bit left to do. Um, and then I'll be able to get the surrounds on around the, the skylights. And then the ceiling is done. Right, so this is pretty exciting. These are the uh, surrounds for the skylights. I must have put the skylights in about four months ago and they've just been sat there unfinished, so I'm proper excited to put these on. Hopefully they're gonna fit. Right, they're on. Let me let me show you. I had to make a slight modification, but uh, right. So these are the ones we went for. These are mini heckies, mini midi heckies, something like that. Um, like I say, they went on a while back, but we've got the fly in it. Oh my word. And, isn't that great, you're blind. Look at those bad boys. Emily's gonna be dead chuffed. And then the other one, down here, blind it. It's a great, you're blind. So yeah, pretty pleased with, uh, pretty, pretty pleased with it. That's the ceiling uh, finished. And then I think I kind of like the silver, but we're still undecided whether to come down the wall and continue the brown or whether to go for, uh, if to excuse me, there's a bloke with a leaf blower outside, he's very noisy. Yeah, or whether to go for white, so yeah, we don't know. But yeah, I'll probably leave that video there for today. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, it's pretty easy really, it's just it's just clamped, it's just tongue and groove so it just goes together. Um, I just screwed it into the battens that I'd put up uh, when I did all the battening out which is in uh, one of the insulation videos I think. Um, I'll stick a link in the description. Yeah so if you set them right and level it's really quite easy just to, just to put them in. It probably is a two man job but uh, Emily's busy with called midwife so. So yeah, so thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.